Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about what do you do when you don't feel like planning? We've all been there. I'm here currently right now, which is why I wanted to film this video because this is exactly how I feel right now. And if you look, I didn't film last week's video at all. I just planned it, you know, just on a Monday sat down, put some stickers, and that was it. I didn't feel like planning. I didn't want to plan. I planned, and then I, I did what I needed to do for this week coming up, and I was just like, I don't feel like planning. I just don't. So what happened was I ended up going into this pocket planner because I was like, let me use this as an everyday carry, see if I get some motivation, inspiration. This is very easy. I can literally put my pen in here, carry it downstairs, carry it wherever I go, take it with me, and it's not a big deal. I could do the same thing with this, but I've been using the Hobonichi every week consistently, and I feel like I just need a break from feeling the need to plan, make a page, make a spread. And if you look, this week is the same thing. Like I have not done anything regarding this week coming up because I don't feel the need to do it right now. And you are going to go through that. There's going to be times that you're just going to go through it. Now, it is my son's prom. So I will be putting something in here just to kind of commemorate that. But right now, I'm so focused on I have to pick up the tailoring. I have to finish up the itinerary with his day that I have to pick him up early. I have to finalize my decision for us, but I have to get back with that decision. I have to start going about the process of doing the assessments for my parents, getting that coordinated. There is so much happening and I just feel overwhelmed looking at this like, oh my goodness, I have to film this. I have to think about what stickers I want to use. I don't feel like that this week and I'm being very honest and it can happen to anyone. So what do you do when you feel that way? I like to go into my pocket planner and I will take a look at what I need to do for the week, right? So this is this week coming up and I also have to put that I have to contact respite for decision, right? And then I also have to do assessment, appointment, Right, and then I already put the barber. If there's anything else I need, I'm gonna add it in here, but this is this week coming up, right? Anything else at the top of mind, right? So then I also have to email respite, right? And that, there we go. So this is what I'm doing. And then what I like to do is once I get that done, I will go to my weekly and literally put down what I need to do for that week. So this is this week that just passed, right? And now I have to kind of flip this over and put it over for this week. So once this is done, I'm going to take that and I'm gonna put the new week in, which is right here. And that's what I'm gonna do. If you don't feel like doing it in the front, let's say, you can go ahead and put that here and put it in whatever order you want. This is quick and simple enough, pen, paper, voila, that's it. So basically my weekly task is performing like an outbox, what I need to do right now, what needs to get moved, and then it goes coordinated to this. Once I do that, then I will write down everything I did in my weekly planner. Now, another thing that you can do when you don't feel like planning is let's say you have bills to pay. Oops, that came out. If you have bills to pay, I have an expense tracker from Papery Planning, and I'm going to show you right here. Let me just give you up close. This is from Papery Planning, and what I'm going to do is write down my bills for the month that I need to do here. So, for example, I can do PayPal. I can do Citibank. Right? I could do City Credit all the things that come to mind, Sally Mae, we all know who Sally Mae is, college loans, right? And then I have Canva, I have Epidemic Sound, I have my cat's insurance, which is Banfield, 
and anything else that comes to mind the orthopedic orthopedics okay so once i do that every time i pay it i'm just gonna put down the amount what i paid and then check it off whenever it is done and then that tells me it is for june i'll put total spent here and that is it very simple i pull this off put it right here okay the next thing i'm gonna do is i have this daily list now this i did purchase from piper paper company i really love this notepad because if i need to write down something for the day so for today right it's going to be six four twenty two and i'm going to put and literally let me tell you how exhausted i was this is the time that i woke up at 11. now mind you my parents are still sleeping because they also had a late night and they were watching movies and i decided to film right at 11 30 and i will make breakfast around 12 o'clock so very quick video that i decided to film but it's okay and then what i'm gonna do is make breakfast right i'm gonna put that and then i'm gonna have to do prep dinner which today I'm making um, oxtail, rice, and peas. Then I'm gonna edit while I'm watching my show, Hannah, that's on Amazon. And what I intend to do today is relax. If I need to do anything here, if I need anything for the recipe here, right? For oxtail recipe, I'm gonna write it here. Very simple. Okay, and then what I want to do is really take my time kind of decorating this week because like I said, it's my son's prom week. So I really want to do something special here and I really want to take my time. I just don't want to film a video to film a video. And honestly, I just don't have the capacity or the bandwidth to do that. So you can simply have a to-do list of what you need to do, right? And then for breakfast, you can write down whatever you need to. If you have groceries, which is what I like here, they have a grocery list here right so i'm going to show you real quick they have a grocery list right here love that self-care movement meal notes to do so you don't have to get this specific notepad you can get a sticky note you can get a piece of paper you can get a notebook you can do whatever you want when you don't feel like planning please don't feel like you have to plan because oh this is what i have to do it has been really difficult these past three weeks with everything that's happening from Buffalo to Uvalde to what's going on in Tulsa to what's going on with just women's rights. There's so many things happening and so many layers and so many discussions and so many, just so much that I don't have the capacity. I want to have my joy in doing this and I really don't necessarily want to be doing it within a filming time period or I have to do it this day. I really want to take my time and enjoy that. So that's why I'm not doing it. And I'm also tired, so I am going to go ahead and do this. So whenever you don't feel like planning, use a notepad, use a piece of paper for your expenses, use a sticky note, use whatever you want. Use your phone, use your notes on your phone, okay? Use notes on your phone, which is right here, and write down whatever you want to write down. It doesn't have to be always in a planner and sometimes i feel like we are in a state that we constantly need to plan and i'm gonna be realistic look at what happened this week like this was the last time i planned because it has been so heavy do you see what i have to back plan to and this i'm gonna do whenever i want to relax and whenever i want to have me time this is what i'm gonna do i'm going to back plan and that's okay because i literally have right my Hobonichi that catches everything and I could write down my meals, I could write down what I ate, I could write down my exercise because I have everything here. So believe it or not, even though this may not look decorated, this is still going to get filled. It's still going to have the information it needs to have because it's important for me. So that is the tip that I'm going to give you. Don't feel like you have to plan 
every single week. There has been difficult weeks and I feel like some of us feel like we have to plan. We have to do this curated feed. No, you don't. You have to do what is best for you and you have to do what is right for you without overwhelming yourself. And that is okay. There's going to be weeks that you're not going to want to feel like it. And guess what? It's okay. When I go on vacation, planning is going to be from the furthest thing on my mind. The only thing I want to plan is when I'm going to the beach, when I'm going to eat dinner, where I'm going to walk around, where I'm going to shop, and things like that. I don't want to necessarily plan. I just want to live in the moment. And I think it's coming down to that. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next one, bye.